So we're here stood at the join between the two palaces. Behind me is the Tudor Chapel wall and in front of me is the rest of the Baroque Palace. What we're seeing here is one of the hidden treasures at Hampton Court. This wall was blocked in in 1690 by Christopher Wren, building a new range of buildings for the royal children. In the 1980s, uh, this room was demolished to make way for a lift. This wall is really exciting for a number of reasons. It gives us a glimpse of a hidden part of the chapel. This wall would originally held a huge stained glass window um, looking out into the gardens and the park to the east. It also gives us an insight into one of the really interesting missing features of the Tudor Palace. You visit Hampton Court today and you could be forgiven for thinking that it's quite a brown, sort of sepia world that Henry VIII would have been living in. But actually, it would have been a technicolour dream world. This wall is actually painted. So they've taken the normal brick wall and then they've painted it in with this red wash and then picked out the mortar joints with white lime wash and then painted in the diaper work that you see regularly on the outside of Tudor buildings. And this is a really interesting survival. So as you can imagine, if the wall was outside for 500 years, most of this painted surface will wash off over time. Here, because it was blocked in, it's been preserved in a really good condition and gives us a wonderful insight into what the original outside of the Tudor Palace would have looked like. So we've now moved up to the first floor so we can get a better look at the windows. Now you can see here where Christopher Wren's masons have cut back some of the window detailing to make way for the floor and the walls of the new building. But you still get a real sense of the beauty of this window. Unfortunately, none of the stained glass survives intact, but during the work in the 1980s, they did find some fragments of stained glass that we still have in our collection today and that we're going to take a look at. Uh, so here we have a collection of some of the finest 16th century stained glass from the palaces. Very little of this material survives, none in situ, um, and these are the star pieces of our collection. Here you have a selection of block colours, so blues and greens, lots of architectural detailing picked out here in the, the silvers and whites, but the real star of the show here um, is this red section which shows part of the royal arms of Henry VIII. Here you can see uh, most of three lions, they sadly um, scattered uh, and cracked down the middle. And uh, these are beautifully decorated. They are lions uh, passant, guadant, which means uh, walking, although here it looks more like he's waving high. And then guadant means looking at you. And that has been part of the royal arms of England for a very long time and is one of the key icons of English monarchy. This exciting part of Hampton Court that most of our visitors don't get to see is really fantastic at telling the story of the colour and decoration that was everywhere in Henry's Hampton Court Palace. The level of detail in the stained glass, the beautiful carving and the fantastic highly technical decoration um, really paint a picture of a different Tudor world. A 16th century that isn't full of boring brown wooden rooms but is actually full of the colour and magnificent that was present everywhere in the court.